Hi everyone, Wolf Branch Homestead here. And over the past few days, past few videos, we've been talking about hurricane relief efforts from, I believe you pronounce it as Helene, that hit a few weeks ago. We've been talking about different ways to help out with that, supply drives, ways you can share and things. But now we're making this video because we do have another storm. We have a hurricane out in the Gulf named Milton. So we're making this as kind of a quick video to um, say, for one thing, if you are in these areas of Florida, please check your county, your city for any mandatory evacuation notices. Some of the people, I believe, were having evacuations by Monday. Please pay attention to this. Don't take it lightly. Try to get yourself, your family, your animals out safely as you can. There are some places outside of your area that might have uh, areas of lodging available. Make sure that you take any kind of necessary medications. Make sure you have any health concerns written down for yourself, your family, your animals. And try to safely evacuate as you can. It looked like from a few pictures we've seen already in videos that interstates were getting pretty backed up. So again, don't take this lightly, as severe as this is. Please keep a check on your local weather. You can also look at the National Hurricane Center website. That will show you updated tracks throughout the day, any kind of warnings associated with that. Please, please pay attention to this and be careful. And we are sending our best to you as you try to evacuate if you can. People that are staying put, again, pay attention to this because it is so severe. But we're, again, sending our thoughts with everybody and just hoping for the best, hoping for safety. If you know anybody in these areas of Florida that might be impacted, please check on them and try to keep in contact with them. If you lose contact, as they did with this past hurricane, I know Red Cross will probably have something open to try to get in touch with people as far as, um, you know, family, loved ones. I apologize, we have a plane going over. But just try to stay in communication with people and check on them to make sure they're doing okay. And a lot of supplies are already going out to other areas in all of these supply drives because it has been so bad this month it seems like and this well this past month too um we've tried to stay in touch with you all as far as letting you know what supply drives we had here locally giving you some ideas if you have a supply drive in your area what kind of things are needed but there are likely going to be other drives after this one so please keep your eyes out for ways you can help if you're going to help financially with an organization, please make sure they're credible. Um, I think I think the name of it was like Cash App or something. I'm not really familiar with some of that, but there are some scams for PayPal, Cash App, things like that. So just be very mindful when you make a contribution that way. Most of the credible organizations will probably have a donation link on their website. If you are in the South, Southeast U.S., your state, somewhere around you, might likely be having supply drives to uh, donate items. And after this, you know, there'll probably be some more. So, again, we're going to talk about this. I know with our next supply drive here, they sent one trailer off. Now they have another that they're mainly collecting tools for cleanup this time. So, you know shovels, rakes, fans, their supplies they need for fencing for animals, things like that. More baby supplies, more supplies for older adults, you know, elderly family members. So pay attention to what items are in need. And again, one thing I've seen reiterated, kind of like we talked about in one of our past videos, is if you are helping with supplies, keep in mind that people, um, will need clean drinking water when it comes to items to eat try to have something that's ready to eat that doesn't require uh, water 
or possibly even, you know, a source of electricity or heat to cook it. Try to find things that can be eaten without those. Remember that there are going to be infants, there are going to be older family members, there are going to be animals, so other supplies like that to help them. Cleaning supplies for not only cleaning up homes, neighborhoods, things like that. There have been organizations sending out generators. There have been organizations sending out food for livestock and pets. We've had a lot of um, donations come out now here locally in regards to helping to feed livestock. So just keep these items in mind and again, look up what's in need. But with this, again, we do have this other storm. Please pay attention to this. Please pay attention to any warnings, evacuation notices. Keep in contact with people that you know that might be in these areas. And again, if support is needed after this, then let's come together like we have been and do our best to help out. Even if you can't financially help or can't help with items, just sharing the word to try to get assistance for everybody. Let's try to come together and do that. We still have this other supply drive going on locally till Friday. We have one eBay order and we're just waiting to see if we have a little bit more before Wednesday or Thursday and then we will put supplies in and let you know what we've contributed as we did last time. That trailer will go out uh, this weekend and then after this I'm, I'm just really hoping that it won't be like that. I know how severe it, it looks right now. But if there are any opportunities to help with supply drives after that, we'll be sure to let you know as well. And again, just please keep everyone that's in this track in your thoughts. We are hoping for the best, hoping for safety of everyone their family, their animals, and uh, again, hopefully this kind of covered some things, not only with what's going on and keeping an eye on it, but also letting you know if there are any, you know, kind of support drives afterwards, maybe some ideas of things that you can contribute if you haven't been able to yet for the other storm that has came through. But again, uh, this one is Hurricane Milton. Please keep an eye on this keep in contact with folks, be safe, and until the next video or live stream, we hope you all take care.